Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to find the critical numbers from uh, using derivatives. Also before I start teaching I wanted to say thank you guys for 200 subscribers. I didn't expect my last video to do so well so thank you guys for watching. And um, I remember I posted a question on the comments and these are the people that got the answer right. Okay, let's start on the video. Okay guys, so finding the critical number is pretty easy and I thought to make this video because in my last video, I think it was finding local maximum and minimums, I was teaching how to find the critical number and I realized that not many people know how to find it, so I thought to make a separate video on it. Okay, so it's very simple and it only has three steps. You'll be given a function and the first step is to take the derivative. Okay, when you take the derivative of it, you're going to set it equal to zero and then isolate for x. Whatever value you get for x will be your critical number. So let's start on examples. Okay guys, so here is our first example. And in this, what you're going to do is take the first derivative and using power rule, you'll bring down the two, multiply it with the coefficient, which is one, and reduce the power by one. So this will just be two x minus four. Remember when you have a variable with a power of one, it's just going to equal to the coefficient. So the derivative of this is going to be f prime of x equals to 2x minus 4. Okay guys, so I've made the derivative equal to 0. And when you do that, you're going to isolate for x after. So you're going to move the 4 to the other side and divide by 2. And the x a uh, critical number is going to be just positive 2. This is simple algebra. I don't think I need to explain this much. Okay, guys, so here we have the critical number, which is just x equals 2. 2 is going to be our critical number. This was a pretty easy example, so I'll do one or two more harder examples. Okay, guys, so for the second example, we're going to be using a trig function. And in my last videos, I taught you guys how to take the derivative of a trig function. So I don't think I'll have to explain that much. You know that the derivative of sine is just cos, so f prime of x will equal to cos x. Now, the second step is making f prime of x equal to zero. So we will put zero equals cos x. Now, this is a little bit different. You need to find the values of x that will make cos equal to zero. And that happens on at the on the unit circle at the right angles. That will mean that it happens at 90 degrees, 270 degrees, and so on. So I'll explain it after writing it more. Okay, guys, so here I wrote it. And here, as I said, we made the derivative equal to 0. So 0 equals cos x. And you want to use the x values that will make cos equal to 0. And from the unit circle, we know that in these values, cos will be 0. So this is 90 degrees, 270 degrees, 450 degrees. And you're just adding pi to each one. So a general way to write this is uh, pi over 2 plus n pi. At this, this expression is going to give us all of our critical numbers because you can put substitute n as any number and it would still give us a critical number. So yeah, that's the trig function, critical point solved. Okay guys, so for the last one, I wanted to do a polynomial where we'll get more than one critical number. So you just need to solve it the same way as we did the first one, use power rule and differentiate it. So this is going to be three x squared minus six x. So I'll write it down. Okay guys, so now that I wrote this, uh, wrote the derivative, I think an easier way for you guys to understand would be try to factor it and then make it equal to zero so that you can find your critical numbers easier. And the way you can do this is check by what common term you can take out from both of these terms. You can take out, you can try dividing uh, each term by three. If you divide this by three, you'll just be left with x squared. If you divide this by three, you'll just be left with two x. So you can take out a three for sure. And now look at the variable. You can take out an x from each one. If you divide this term by x, you'll be left with just 3x. And if you divide this term by x, you'll be just left with negative 6. So in total, we can take out two things. We can take out a 3 and an x. So a way to factor this would be 3x bracket x minus 2. I will write it out. 
Okay, guys, so here I set it equal to zero and I factored it. I think you can tell directly what your two critical numbers are going to be, but to make it easier, you can just solve for each term and make each equal to zero. Like 3x equal to zero, do it separately to find the value of x, and x minus 2 equals zero, do it separately to find the value of x. So I'll write it out so it's easier to understand. Okay, guys, here I just... uh. Moved it separately, 3x equals 0, and use the algebra, and you'll find that x equals 0 is a critical number. And then I did the same here, and you moving the when you move the 2, it turns positive, and you will be left with x equals 2 as your critical number. So, yeah, this question is solved, and we found both critical numbers. Okay, guys, so that's it for today's video. Uh... Yeah, I wanted to thank you guys once again for the 200 subscribers. It means a lot to me. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And one thing I want to clarify is that I'm also a student. So if I make any mistakes, then also please be sure to mention those as well. So that's it for today. See you guys next time. Bye.